got the nigga soul. Hey, cut that, cut that, cut that. Hey, what's going on, Club Master Bedroom? I am your host and comedian for the night, Selwyn. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, that's that's some crucial head right there, man. Talking about some, she sucked your soul, bruh. <laughs> Nah, man. I, I don't think I want that. That that that'll have you looking in the bushes. You you are gonna do some stuff. Somebody suck your soul out. Like you gonna haunt. You gonna haunt her. That's what. That's exactly what you're gonna do. You gonna haunt her. I rather you you suck me to sleep. That I, I'm good for. Mm -hmm. I got CPAP machine. It'll take care of that. Just put it right on in there in my nose. <sighs> See, I'm gonna still breathe. Like I'm gonna live. If you suck me to sleep, you suck a nigga soul. I'm out of there, baby. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. And anyway, that's how we talk in Club Man's bedroom. Hey, shout out to the dude who made an adult gesture in front of my child, man. And I was like, I didn't even expect this. I wasn't paying attention. You know, I was in the car. Driving all of a sudden, I heard the horn honk. I'm like, oh, okay, hey. and and I caught a glimpse of what the dude did. So I just seen hands draw down, right? So I'm just figuring maybe he had stuck his finger up on him. He was like, he gave him the bird. Mm -mm. My son gonna ask me, I'm six year old, talking some daddy, what did this mean? I said, oh, 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 who, um. That mean that you like somebody. He was <laughs> like, for real? Yeah. So you, you like mama? Yes. I I I I love your mama. I, I love your mama. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's how that went, right? So I didn't think nothing of it. Mm -mm. Yeah, man. This fool went to school. And the teacher gonna call me talking about some Mr. Fisher, we gotta talk. I was like, what's going on? And he's like, oh, I just wanna talk about uh, your son's behavior. And I was like, what happened? Well, okay, I would rather just, um, can you come in? I was like, actually, I can't come in because I'm busy on the job right now, so what's going on? Well, your son's going around putting uh, his fingers up to his face and sticking his tongue out. I said, oh. <laughs> oh, I will take care of that, right? So. He got home, I explained to him. I was like, hey, man, um, you can't do this more. I see, he's going to look at me and say, I thought this meant that you like somebody. His mama going to look at him like, it mean you eating cat. That's right. It mean you eating cat. Truthful. Sometimes you got to hit kids with the truth. You eating cat, right? So he stopped doing it right there. Boom. He will not eat cat no more. And I'm, I'm hoping that he hold that. Till you about 18. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> so, you know, I thought that was the last of that. But then my son comes home and he says, uh, Daddy, what's the funky B? I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, what's the funky B? I said, oh, that's that's uh, that's a bad word. He was like, because Grandma had said that when somebody had cut her off, in the car, and I was like, man, you need to stay out of these cars, right? So I was like, mm, I'm going to have to talk to Grandma about that. Because kids are sponges, man. They soak it up. Funky B, I, I can just see him going to school, telling some, get out of here, you Funky B. And the B just, you Funky B. Ah! And the teachers grab him up, you know. What did you say? I said, get out of here, you Funky B. Right? <laughs> now he's in trouble. So I got I got to protect my kids at all costs. So I like, hey man, you can't say that. That's a, that's a bad word. So I was like, that's a bad word. So I thought I was done with that. Nope. My man comes in a week later talking about some daddy. What does this mean? I said, oh man, whoa! Who, who taught you that? Right? <laughs> I seen the man in the car do it. I'm like, you ain't riding no more cars. I said, the man did what he did like that? I said, oh, that means you don't like somebody. So he took all of that and wrapped it up in a one. Yeah, man, this fool said he was going around talking about something. 
<laughs> like to everybody he ain't like, can you picture that? A little six year old? Mmm. Ah, mm. <laughs> oh man, I'm an asshole for that. <laughs> oh man. You know, um I'm tired of I'm tired of certain things, man. You know, I, I work for the government and you know, I've learned that we get a lot of hand-me-down stuff. We get hand-me-down computers, hand-me-down TVs, hand-me-down furniture. Like, if your back hurt, you better find you a good chair. I'm gonna tell you that right now, as soon as you start at the government. Because there's no support. And you're gonna ask, ask for, you're gonna have to ask for certain things, you know. Um, unfortunately, uh, if you ever got to go to the bathroom it's gonna be a death sentence for you, man. I'm telling you, you go to that long hallway and you just walk in there and it look like one of them school bathrooms with the, with the little black seat on there. You got the toilet paper that's just hanging. It's a big ass roll. And if you pull one, it pull it too hard, you got to dig and now you over here just wrapping on the toilet paper. It's the worst kind of toilet paper ever, man. It's the worst, it is the worst. You know why? Because if you wipe your ass, it's going to feel like you running razors across it. Just slicing, slicing, and slicing. Yeah. Nah, and you know what it feel like? You you remember on Kickboxer when Van Damme had to put his hands in the glass and he fight, fighting Tom Poe and then he got hit and it was, Yeah, it fit right there, serrated, just lacerations all over, all over your ass. And then you got, you're going to have hemorrho unnecessary hemorrhoids. And even if you don't have hemorrhoids, you're going to grow them. Because you know what they call that? You know what they call And it's real fucked up. You know what they call that stuff? Like, if it burn your butthole, they call it fissures. Like, that, I, I find that offensive. That's my last name. Yeah, nah, man. You ain't going to call no no pain in the ass fissure. Because now people going to walk around and associate with me. It's a pain in your ass. And you're like, yo, I got some fissures. Now you don't. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so anyway, you got to make sure you go with your own ply because they all together is one ply, man. I bring a shaman with me because I love squeezing it. Yeah. <laughs> I said I was going to stop doing that shit. <laughs> anyway, man, um, I love doing this comedy, man. It's been two years. Bill Bellamy told me I was a rookie in the game, man. And I was like... <laughs> Nah, nah, rookie. He's like, yeah, this your rookie year, like two years, baby. And I was like, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess so. And he's like, yeah, so like this your like freshman year is your first year. And I was like, wow, man, nah, man, this is more like beginning of birth, like new life. I'm a two year old in comedy, okay. I'm still stumbling. And I'm still falling, but I'm one of them smart ass two year olds. You say something to me, I'm coming back with some. You like what? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that's my time. <laughs> I'm out of here. My name is Selfish. Y'all take it easy.